I'm not really sure what I want these to be. I kind of want them to be like a podcast type setup. Obviously with the microphone here. It's kind of a janky setup right now until I can, you know, get some things um, settled down and really have a space. Well, I really have this place set up the way I, I envision it to be kind of like a work office type studio. Um, it's still in its infancy and I do have a lot planned for it, just like I have a lot planned for the backyard. Um, but it's been a while since I made a video. Um, before I was shooting a lot of the videos in my apartment and prior to that I was updating y'all letting you know I, I want to get a house so that was a big piece of 2022 let's say especially from like September to November uh, yes September to November so those three months I was just like prioritizing okay uh, working with a realtor um, to get the place that I, I have today. It all worked out, obviously, and I'm pretty happy with how everything's come to be. Um, I've been working on just setting up a few little things that I can do with the house. Primarily, like, for me, this was like, it is an investment. However, I wanted to have this as an investment for like a rental property. Um, so in the future, I plan on renting out this place, um, maybe selling it. Not sure how soon that will be, but I just wanted to have a place where it could, I could make money and then I could also turn it into a studio to then promote the business ideas I have, promote, I don't know just everything that I all the ideas that I kind of come up with on the fly and I usually write them down usually write a bunch of ideas on a on sticky notes and just stick them where they belong so recently I've been posting a lot on Instagram and that's to do with more some of this like wellness promotion this idea that exercise from home isn't just you know at the at a house or something like that you know I've, I've been exercising in my apartment for a long time i hadn't filmed a lot of it and that's for other reasons like th the lighting was terrible we had we just didn't have good lighting in certain spaces also had a lot of storage because i owned a business i had a lot of soccer equipment all over the living room if you look at the living room now it's a lot cleaner just things like that just like little things why i couldn't film not necessarily i couldn't exercise i could still exercise i can move some things around it's just that filming was difficult and to like, get proper lighting set things up like this and have have a, a adequate space to just film some content and then post it um i also wanted to respect that my roommate was close by too so i didn't want to make it awkward and be like oh he's filming again today blah 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 so i i was a little bit aware of that too now i have my own spot you know it's it's more up to me picking and choosing when i want to film uh picking and choosing where i want to film if it's in the backyard if it would be in the basement if it would be in the office if even the kitchen i've been doing a lot of like stories there too so um for y'all who haven't seen me on Instagram, you can go ahead. It's going to be linked somewhere in the description for sure. Um, we'll see by the time that I edit this video if I am tech savvy enough to put that on the screen as well. It's simple. It's just M L E E S I G. So M Lee's I G. Um, that's where you can find me on Instagram. Um, I have a few other socials as well so anything emily's and then for example gaming emily's gaming is my twitch account um emily's yt is my youtube account and i think i have a few others but again i'll, I'll just link those so you can see it so yeah just having a, a property now that i can uh, it's this is my investment property um the reason is um the basement is set up as a renting option too. So 
having a tenant living downstairs will be um, kind of a, an, an added layer of income, which would be nice. Um, but again, just to help me invest back into the home, I can do more stuff towards content, creating these additional pieces so that I'm happy uh, at the end of the day that I feel like I'm establishing this this platform, this platform for, and I say wellness and it's a loose term, but just trying to inspire people um, to, that I, I keep, I was telling my friend um, and he was like, oh, I, t- I felt so bad that, uh, you know, over the break, I didn't go to the, like the, the gym was closed and I didn't really want to go to the gym. And I said, well, it's kind of like, um, there's a mentality shift too. It's like, when you think of exercise in a different sense, like you can bring the gym to wherever you are. And for me, I, now that I moved to the place I'm at now, it's a little bit, uh, rural. So I'm out of the downtown area I was living in. I'm adapting it for physical activity. And so that was my, my mission behind like posting a bit more and posting like exercise at home, home home-based exercise. Also, my master's research had a, like was all to do with home exercise. It was a project to deliver. Oh, I sound, I'm going to give you the spiel. So my thesis was to deliver a home-based exercise program for seniors age 65 years and older that were categorized as physically inactive. We wanted to prescribe them an exercise program that they could do at home um, that would be cheaper than five dollars in total uh, for them to implement that program we wanted to do a baseline test with them at the beginning before they uh, started that program after four weeks so a month we tested them again to see how they they liked the program see if there was any um, changes in their uh, between their baseline data and the post data main things we were looking at did they increase their steps uh, per week and not only did they increase their steps but could they meet 10,000 steps per day and we tested before and after if they liked it and we wanted to see what were some barriers and enablers that they also were associated in the beginning and what were the barriers and enablers after so um, for example a barrier could be that oh going to the gym is difficult for me okay well here's a home-based program let's see if that changes the outcome sometimes it did sometimes it didn't Sometimes when we test when we tested them after, we saw that there was still a barrier of motivation. Not mo- being motivated to exercise at home became a new barrier. Um, on the other side, so an enabler could be that oh, I like doing this program because I could do it with my wife, and I love doing activities uh, with her, and I, I'd like to see her be more active. That's why I'm doing this program. Great. So social support is a great enabler. On the other side, um, sometimes you could see different enablers as well. It was convenient. I could pick the time I wanted to do it. It wasn't like I was joining the YMCA and I had to uh, select a, a program that didn't meet the time that I wanted to do it. I could just wake up in the morning, do 10 minutes of the protocol, and then stop. So there's a lot of unique things that um, I got to do with running a home best a home based exercise program as my master's project. It was really fun, but it kind of stuck with me. So now this whole home based idea is like, whoa, maybe I could look at this becoming like, you know, a platform for my Instagram um, because, you know, I'm passionate about exercise and passionate about I am a big homebody, too, and I have seen a lot of people up be lying if I, had, I said I haven't seen a lot of kind of influencers or platforms where they uh, have turned their home into kind of like the studio that you you see online and that's their their job and for me that is amazing I love the idea of, of working from home and so that's why I'm kind of really pushing for this whole year outcome to just produce a lot of content produce good quality content and stuff that people can, you know, uh, be attached to and, you know, think that, oh, like I really see what this person's doing. I'm, they're kind of passionate about it. That's kind of the only mission that I'm on. And uh, I, I, 
I really do want to take it, you know, a little bit serious for the year. I have this goal of like posting 40 times and then seeing where I'm at. I think I'm at like 13 posts. So I'll keep it going and see how I feel. But that's just kind of the reason behind everything. I've just been really motivated to share with people about home-based exercise, something I did with my master's research. And now I'm leaning into that Um area of research in a PhD so for next year and I kind of have this downtime to kind of do something and so just having fun obviously you I hope that when you see the content I'm posting on Instagram that it is very light I'm not very serious I'm not uh, so much but I am I'm trying to be consistent that's the main goal Um, and I will be consistent um it's just kind of the goal I've already set. So it's hard for me not to do it now, unless, you know, something comes up where that, that really stops me from, from doing something like that, which I don't think it will. Um, it would have to be like something like life threatening or I'd have to leave. Even if I leave, I might even like vlog about it and <laughs> say what the situation is. If I broke my phone, then yeah, some, someone's gonna give there. Um, so that's kind of like where I've been in the in the last little bit, um, and I'm kind of happy to set this up. I think that's a quick little update for now. Uh, I'll leave it there. Peace out, and follow me on Instagram because I'm be posting a lot there. I will be uploading a bit more to the YouTube as well now that I have this set up. However. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to continue continuing this journey, continuing um, seeing where this can go and just enjoying the process. So, yeah, catch y'all later on the next one. Peace. And I'm just going to do a another.